know, Mum, I don't think Stan's going to like it when he finds out I'm working on the buses. Well, if your husband doesn't mind you being a clippy, I don't see why your own brother should. Yeah, but you know what Stan's like about things like that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mum. Hello, Mum. Hey, again, love. <laughs> All right. That's the idea, girl. Oh, all right, very much. Oh, charming. Why don't you buy a paper for a change? Well, it's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Five points of time, we might just well take turns. Turns? Last time you bought one, they were a penny. Uh, yeah. no, no, come on, come on, Stan. Come and sit down and have your tea. Right, Emma. <laughs> Holly's got uh, some news. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, come on, where is it then? <laughs> She's getting a job. I bet that's made the headlines. <laughs> have a look, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's uh, 47 you've had this year, isn't it? Oh, Stan, don't be rude to your sister. She can't help it. It's the Labour Exchange. Yeah, well, they haven't invented one to suit her yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I must say, I don't approve of my wife working, really, so it will help with the little luxuries, won't it? Oh, she's going to buy your fags, then. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, then. Give us a sip. What's the news? Right. Well, it was Mum's idea. Well, uh, I had a brainwave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's working on the buses. <laughs> <laughs> Something gone down the wrong way, love. That bit of news did. Olive on the buses? Yes. It's going to be nice for her working at the same depot as you. Me? Why me? Well, why not? You're her brother. Well, you're her husband. Why don't you get her a job on the railways? Let her work in the booking office, will you? Selling railway tickets is highly skilled work. What on earth would she do? She could clean your little window. <laughs> or do you like it dirty so the people can't see what you're up to? Uh. Those windows are dark because they're armour-plated to stop the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> bullets? Who from? Bandits or passengers? Yeah. Oh, come out of it. No, it wouldn't suit you, love, I'm telling you that. Yeah, well, as I say, I don't approve of my wife working, really. Oh, but the money will come in useful, Arthur. Working as a clippy, I'll earn £11.10 a week. £14.13 and five with late shift and overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get her on nights? That's a good idea. That'll bring it up to £17. Oh, for... shut up. <laughs> I still don't think it suits you, love. And they're very choosy, love. Besides, wait till you see the application form. That'll soon put you off. Oh, she's filled in all the, all the form, haven't you, love? I show it to Stan. Yeah, all except the questions on the back, the medical section. Yeah. Question number one. Um, what's it say? I can't read the small print. <laughs> Have you got good eyesight? <laughs> I'll put yes. What are you talking about? Blimey, she couldn't read the question. Oh, well, she could if she had her proper glasses and a little more light. Now then, question two. Have you had any of the following childhood diseases? Tick and put date against the ones you have had. Good, your pen will run out of ink. Uh, mumps. Now, let me see. What was those dates? Dates? Mm. You don't have mumps twice. Olive did. <laughs> oh, well, I put two ticks, yes. Now, measles, whooping cough, German measles. Uh, oh, there are a lot, aren't there? Yeah. Why don't you make it a fermentation? I still don't so say that she's not fit for the job. No. Do you suffer from dizzy spells, nausea and fainting? Well, right? she had a jackpot there. Well, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll put no. What do you mean no? What about last week? Oh, well, that was because of the weather. It was awful. <laughs> now, let's see. Four. Do you suffer from vertigo? No, she never had that. What is it? Vertigo, he's been frightened of heights and high places. Mm. Oh, I am, even going up the stairs. <laughs> what are you going to do on the top deck of a bus, then? Well, it's all right when she closes her eyes. Well, oh, that's marvellous, isn't it? Wandering about on the top deck of a bus with your eyes shut. You're supposed to be collecting fares, not playing blind man's buff with the passengers. <laughs> now, this is ridiculous. You've got to answer them properly. Now, look here, I filled in all the form. Now, Stan, all you've got to do is just sign it there, see? <laughs> he signed? Look here, you've worked on the buses for so long, you can recommend Olive. You can say that she's suitable for, uh, for, let's see what she's suitable for. Oh, she's suitable, a suitable person to serve as a conductress. There you are. Well, I don't think she is. Um, besides, if the fellas knew I put her up, they'd kill me. Go on. Go on, do as you're told, love. Oh. The manager's the only one who'll know. All right, then. I'll sign it, but I'll put an X for no publicity. <laughs> I made it fit. Arthur, don't you think Olive looks nice in her uniform? Yeah, dazzling. <laughs> hey, I've dashed home early. I might get the last bit of the football in, Arthur. Yeah, Stan, yeah, Stan, look at Olive's suit. I I've altered it. Now, you know, show it off. Show it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, looks like one of them uh, Paris models. <laughs> Not exactly styled by Christian Dior, was it? 
Looks more like as though it's been bashed out by Leyland Motors. <laughs> Here, how's the training going, love? All in starts on our own tomorrow. We want you to give it a bit of last minute advice. Oh, well, I'll see the maximum. Good clip. Here, what do I do first? Do I tell the tickets or take their money? Beats one man, beats oh, two. Well, I can't without rolling tickets. I'll shoot half of them. I've still got two left feet. But he can move, though. He can move. Here, what, what are you doing? doing? Well, now, Ollie will have to imagine she got the tickets. Oh, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Oh, all right. This is a little bit cheap. Here you are. That'll do, dear. Just take that. <laughs> I'll give her that. I bought that. <laughs> what do you mean, bought it? It's got British Railway stamped on every seat. <laughs> I supplied it, didn't I? Oh, God. No wonder the British Railways are going broke. Now, there we are, there we are. Now, we've got to imagine, we got to imagine that these are the bus seats. Come on, Stan. I can't do it after the match is over. Oh, come on. Oh, all right, then, all right. There we are. <laughs> Tickets. Oh, well, you'll have to imagine it's a very long journey. <laughs> first, please, first, please. Come on, Stan. Ask him for a ticket. Oh, right. A six million one from the High Street to Warwick Road. Yes, sir. Wrong. Hey? Eh? Oh, I thought you'd done that very nicely. But there isn't a bus that goes from the High Street to Warwick Road. Oh. <laughs> Stan, you are awful. He's only teasing you, love. Just like when we were children. <laughs> I'll do it properly this time. Now, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, will you? Uh, give me a tenpenny one to the cemetery gates, and uh, I've only got a quid. Uh, tenpence from a pound, that'll be, uh, uh, nineteen and tuppence change. And there's your ticket. Now, oh, you can't say she didn't do that well. Very good. The only difference was I only gave her a ten bob note. <laughs> oh, Stan. I don't call that very nice. I'm sure no one will be so dishonest. Well, you're joking, Mum. At least I gave her money. One dark and dark night, somebody's going to work her a soap voucher. Oh, now, I'll be, fair. Listen, I'll be fair with you, love. I'll tell you what I'll do. Take your money back. Listen, I'm going to ask you a question now. Look, yeah. if a drunk got on the bus, drunk got on the bus, see, what did the cause of fight? What would you do? Come on. Well, the inspector said Don't that worry I... about what he said. I'm the driver and I know. Right, if he wants to start a fight, you rap smartly <laughs> on the window of the cab. <laughs> of course, so he can come and help you. No, so he can lock himself in. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, you would go and help your clippy. No, it's far better for him to stop there, and then if she's in real trouble, he can drive her straight to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm fed up with this game anyway. Hey, Arthur. Hey. Come here and play an awkward uh, passenger. How do I do that? Just be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's very nice, really, no, I don't, no. Stan. Here, come on, Arthur, come and help your wife. Go on, go All on. right, all right. I'll get, this, I'll get the set walled up. First, please, first, please. I'll have a sixpenny, then here's a pound note. Uh, now, I better be sure this is a pound. Especially if it's Arthur's. <laughs> oh, dear, I'll have to pay you all in sixpences. You can't do that. Why? Well, Flummer, she's a clipper, you're not a fruit machine. <laughs> no, save your float, always save your float. Look, I'm going to report you for inefficiency if you don't hurry up. Oh, no, no, don't stand for that from one of the passengers. Order him off the bus. What for? For smoking on the lower deck. Shh, it's a picture, picture. Fantastic finish. 5-1 to the South Americans and four goals scored in the last five minutes. A really wonderful game. I oh. really, I don't know when I'll enjoy the game so much. You have missed a football match now. And there's nothing on until the midnight movie. Oh, good. Well, we've got three hours to teach Olive. Come and sit down. Bears, please. Bears, please. Come on. <laughs> sister's starting today then, Stan. Yeah, she's on a number nine. Oh, yeah? Not for me, thank God. <laughs> well, she's all right, but you know what it is, working with a family. It's hopeless, oh, but, mate. Uh, I've switched your conductor. You're on the 29 again. Oh, no. What for? Yes, well, uh, your mother had a word with me. <laughs> she told me you'd like to have your sister on the bus with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we like to keep everyone happy here, you know. <laughs> Suit you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Stan, you was going to ask him, weren't you? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, well, there's the bus. Number 11 to the cemetery gates. You're out in three minutes. Right. All right, hop on, Olive. Check your way, Bill. Now, look, Olive, I'm going to, I'm going to buy your first ticket. I'll have a temporary one. She just can't give you a ticket. Oh, of course she can. I'm going with you. I wouldn't miss Olive's first trip. 
tenth, huh? Mum, I know it's Olive's first day as a Clifford, but you can't sit on the bus all day with her and hold her hand in case she cries. Oh, well, I'm only going as far as the shops. Oh, Stan, I'll be Olive's first passenger. Do you think I ought to wish? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know, Stan, it's a thing a mother never forgets. Could be something the bus company never forgets at all. <laughs> Oh, smashing love. You know, you two ought to have your photo stuck. Brother and sister in uniform again. <laughs> what do you mean again? When did we have it taken before? When you was a wolf cub and you was a brownie. <laughs> oh, Mum, I'm not a brownie anymore. This is quite different. <laughs> oh, no, it's not, love. Here comes Brown Owl. <laughs> Would you out directly, Butler? <clears throat> Mind you, leave on time. Yes, sir. Oh, sir! <laughs> You're giving him the Boy Scout salute. No, 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 that's the busman's salute. <laughs> it's the same, two fingers, you know, but we don't bring it right up to the forehead, we stop halfway in between, like this. But, no. Uh, I said, oh, Jane, two minutes due out. <laughs> Come on, love, we better go. Oh, we can't, I've got to do my hair. Oh, don't forget your curlers. You haven't got time to put curlers in. Oh, she's not putting them in, she's taking them out. <laughs> she was... She was very late this morning. It was Arthur's fault. Yeah, he never bought her early morning tea. Well, looking like that, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Don't you take a second, I'll go to the ladies and take them out. Oh, well, if you're going there, dear, you might as well... Yes, you know. Yes, Mum. Yeah. Well, all right, I'm going to get in the cab, Mum. Oh, oh, Stan, I'm so glad she's going to be with you. You can keep an eye on her when you're driving. What was that you saying? I say you can keep an eye on her when you're driving. Mum, I drive that way. And when I drive that way, the company might be to look that way. It keeps down the insurance, you see. So if you want me to keep an eye on Olive, you want to get it to run in front of the bus. You know what I mean. Wow. I was as quick as I could, Stan. Have you got everything? Yeah. Oh, no, my ticket machine. Where'd you leave it? Hanging on the door of the loo. Oh, oh. really? Uh... I've got an idea it's going to be a nightmare journey. Mum, get in the bus, will you? All right, love. For God's sake, let's have somebody in their position. I got it, Stan. You all right now? Yeah. Okay, get in then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? You did that on purpose. I didn't do it, and I'm please get in, will you? I've got to get caught. Okay. Do that again. Don't all right. Do that again. Okay, get in. Okay. Right.
Watch up now. Come on, watch up. Oh, Olive's not feeling very well. She got travel sickness. Oh, God, that's all I need. Car sick clipping. God, jeez. Handy for me. I'll get off here. Yeah? Oh, dear. Something wrong, miss? Oh, uh, she, she does, she's a bit tired. She's got a bit of a headache. Uh, not surprising. Yeah, these girls are expected to work. Oh. That's a glass of water to help, eh? It would, but we haven't got one handy. Well, there's a cafe just down the road. I'm sure they'd let me have one. Yes. Yeah. I'll go and see. Look, Mum, I thought you told me she got over being car sick. Well, she has almost. It's only when she travels at the back. She's quite all right when she's sitting in the front. But well, why don't you tell me she could come and sit up on my knee? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Now, do be sensible, Stan. You're no. right, I could be sensible. I could drive the bus in reverse. Look, this is absolutely ridiculous, Mum. She should never have started to be a clip if she suffered from motion sickness. Well, she can't help it, it's very common. What about them there astronauts that, that, that went to the moon? That, that, that they, they suffer from, from motion sickness? Lovely, they went 250,000 miles to the moon. <laughs> Nine times round it and 250,000 miles back again. Blimey, she's only come half a mile from the depot. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but she didn't have their training. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oi, what? what's the old up? Well, we're running a bit early, mate. We're regulating the time a bit, you know. Them buses. I'm surprised you ain't stopped for a cup of tea. <laughs> Mum, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't stop here and yet I can't move off without a conductor. I'm not supposed to stop till I get to the end of the route. And where's that? We turn round at the cemetery gates. Oh. Good, but the look of her, I might just well drive straight in. Stan, you didn't know to say those. There those you are, things. my dear. Nice cup of tea. That'll make you feel better, eh? Oh, thank you. Wonderful, you know. Have a small cup of tea puts new life in you, doesn't it? Mm. Pretty you didn't bring the pot. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Yeah, thank you. Well, God's sake, when are we going to... Oh, no, I've seen a lot now. Five minutes from the depot and you stop for a tea break. No wonder the country's ruined. It's not a proper tea break. Oh, that comes later, I suppose, round the next corner. No wonder the fares are going up. It cost me two bob from the Gary to Apex corner. And by the time you get there, I've no doubt the fares will have gone up again. Very funny. Well, we have to have a bit of trouble. And I'll tell you what, mate. Here, here's your two bob back. Two bob. Get on the bus behind. Go on. Hop in. All right, I will. That's it. <laughs> Got rid of him, the stupid nip. He's not such a nit. Why? He didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, it's absolutely impossible. I can't stand here. They think I've deserted them. I mean, they're sending out a search party. Look, I'm going to start up the motor. Well, go on, start it up. Go on, get well, ready. Go on, now, don't poke me. Come on, come on, love. You come up. I'll look after you till the end of the journey. Oh, I feel awful. Come on, love. What are you going to do if some more passengers get on? I'll manage that all right. Oh. Now, go on, go All right, all right, then, all right. Now sit down there, love. That's right. Now put your head, put your head back and shut your eyes. Uh, two one and twos and uh, two halves, please. Sorry about that, Pam. Oh, I'll bring your change along. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, don't worry, love. I'll do that for you. Come along. Now it's uh, what do you say? Uh, two one and twos uh, and two halves. <laughs> oh, I've got a tupney. Oh, I've got another tupney. Oh dear. Oh, must be doing something wrong. Show me what to do, will you, love? Oh, no. Oh. No, I know. All right, I'll do it, dear. Don't worry. Ah, oh. oh, they're all tapneys. Oh, well. They'll have that tapneys, that's all. <laughs> there we are. Well, uh, well, I think I better have some change now. I've got some money in the, in the satchel. There's a good girl. Now I'll... Oh, yeah, Just about had enough of you, mate. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Butler, 
What's she doing here? Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, now, look, Inspector, there's, uh, there's your tickets uh, and there's your money. You'll find it all correct, but some of it's under the seats. Well, what's the meaning of this? Mm. You know the regulations, Butler. Your conductor is not allowed to get off the bus without the tickets and the money. Oh, she hasn't got off the bus, Inspector. Well, where is she, then? Lying on the floor. Eh? Yeah, she, uh, she travels better that way. I've, I've travels better? <laughs> now, this is all wrong, Mrs. Butler. Well, you know, look at those tickets, Harry. Well, look, yeah, all those hundreds of class tickets. Along, oh, I feel so sick. Oh, dear. Oh, my good God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with her? No, don't, don't worry, Inspector. It's all right. She's never done this before, has she? Well, no. No, she's... never. She'll be quite all right. She'll be fine when she's better, won't you, love? It's just the travelling, you know. Butler, come over here a minute. Yes. I want to have a word for you. When you recommended your sister for this job, yeah. you signed a form to say she was suitable. Well, suitable. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, you see, when she signed the form, she was. What do you mean? Well, um, I, I, I can I have a word with you a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 See? Why didn't you say that before? Well, I didn't know. I can't have a word with the general manager. He says, has he given Olive the sack? Oh, well, she's, she's too ill to work. Oh. Oh. Will she have a sickness benefit? <laughs> <laughs> you must be potty! Well, why not? It's their bus what's made her sick. Oh. You can't claim sickness benefit after the job of 12 months. She's only one, done one trip, 72 minutes. She doesn't even qualify for an aspirin. Oh. <laughs> well, I've, had a, uh, I've had a little word with the general manager, and he's very, very kindly offered to uh, give her a lift home in his own motor car. Oh, that is nice. Did you hear that, Nurse? I'll, I'll give you a hand at love. No, no. Don't you strain yourself, my dear. Nurse, I keep my package. I keep this here in case any of the passengers are ever taken here. Get in, love. Right, there you go now. Yes. Uh, if you want a lift as well, Mrs. Butler, I'm sure the general manager will only be too happy. Oh, Come along, very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> what did you say to him? Well, you see, when I found myself in all that trouble, I... Uh, I told him the first thing that came to me mind. And what was that? Well, I told him Olive was in the family way. <laughs> oh, Stan. Stan, does that mean you can't come back to the job? Well, not for another nine months. <laughs> oh, really, Stan? You didn't ought to have done that. You know I don't like lies. Well, don't get on to me. You want to speak to her husband, Arthur. <laughs>